Pittsburgh Art Rippy. I'm over here to Westerville, Ohio, Embassy Suite for the CTO show. Petro, the Prius is parked about a block over that way. This is office parking only. Um, the show looks packed, and there's actually a couple vendors over here. This is the CTO parking over here. And I seen a guy. He, he, he picks something. It's uh, going on 9 o'clock Friday morning. It's a two day show. It's a nice looking Ford Edge. So, this is the top of the food chain for the Petrol Memorabilia um, Collectibles. Uh, um, wow, what's that? That's wild. Huh. Just a large piece of art. It sort of looks like a trash compactor. I'm not sure. Uh, I pick some of this stuff out after uh, I get home and watch my videos. So, cool Sprinter van, um, the Gray Wolf. He, see, that's a vendor. It, they're in an overflow type of situation here in between Rainstorm, Virginia. People from all over the country, they run a circuit, these guys do. And the show's to my right, but. We would miss this completely. He came clear from West Virginia. That peak also was. Hi. Sitting in there. Waiting for a customer. Signage. And who knows, you, you know. It's got a whole trailer full of stuff. This one. So we was here in, in 2019. Uh, the show was canceled for 2020. Um, the Sirens Gentlemen's Club on a corner of Cleveland Avenue's closed. The sign's open. It says we're all in this together. And uh, here's what this show looks like. But yeah, the titty bars have been put out of business due to the health situation or sickness. I know the layout of the property a little better since we've been here before, but last time we were here, I did miss a whole section video-wise. <laughs> Tons of people here. Two day show, Friday, Saturday. And just tons of rain uh, on the radar, but you can see the dry pavement. We're here in between. Fifty on the outboard. I won't get into the prices. Very clean merchandise. Top of the food chain here. Natural. It's Harley Davidson stuff down there uh, for leather carry, do you think? Shoelace display. So you, you can get away from petrol and gas. We're in the guns over here. It's a repop, I'm sure. Distressed. You can, um, this is a club. Check the oil, CTO, there's a Harley. Or, uh, it doesn't look quite, yeah, it's a Harley Davidson cigarette. Um, Amish. Um, Marine, or um, there's some fish, fish and a tackle. He's, he went right to it, he's standing in front of it. Zoo animals. Greyhound lines, ticket information. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't put up my big information site. I haven't got it out yet. Yeah, I thought you found some pump handles. Yeah, I got one of one. Oh, did you find a pump? A pump, a pump, one, and There's a large auction that they begin selling. Oh, gotcha. 
tomorrow morning and it's indoors in the um, trophies. Yeah, I never made it down there since all that bullshit blew out last year. Toys. What happened down there? Well, I mean, with the, with the bars and all that bullshit, I just didn't get down. Oh, yeah. I got out of the house. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I don't know. I, uh, I go there to, to buy. Yeah. I sell very little stuff there. Uh, yeah, but I mean, down to the wheelers. Oh, wheelers. Yeah. Oh, oh, I ain't yeah. been down there in over a year either. Oh, haven't you? Oh, this okay. is when Chad Sarno used to rest the under. Yeah. No, I still go down there. I, I missed the last one. Yeah, that's only and then sewing thread display. Thunderbird gasoline. It's probably from New Mexico. So stuff from all over the country. Illinois. We'll be back to do this site later. I want to have a lot of videos. The Texaco sign. I seen the guy. He, he was hauling that in here when I, I went in to go park. A lot of people they're carrying their like a refrigerator mover trolley. Beautiful merchandise here. You can tell he's into the service end. A fuel. Very large piston out of a locomotive, we think, or a standby generator. Portable power plant. There's like one, two, three, four, five ring lands. Two piece piston, one piece piston. You want 350 for the guy. Big wrench here. To work on your big engine. It's an artillery shell and a. a this, um. From a gas station. Uh, check out the little pump jack. This guy's from Ohio. Some ornate, cool uh, iron work for 150. Um, there's a pump on the bottom. Those are for visible gas pumps, do you think? I think so. They're electrified. They're 3,000 bucks a piece. Oil pump. So you can get a two-year membership to their uh, six publications per year. Check the oil magazine. It'll be uh, about 40 bucks a year, 75 bucks for two years. And then uh, I could have brought something in and sold it if I belonged to them and everything. I could set up here. They don't charge the vendors. And there's no charge to, um, to attend. Wow. And uh, this is stuff's for outdoors, so I suppose it wouldn't be affected. These shows are rain or shine. Pure burn. So some Detroit representative here. White Rose. We're talking big bucks there. This guy's at seven and a quarter, and it, I mean, it looks like it's brand new, like a repop. I mean, uh, I don't, in the content wise, the, the Wolf's had popular in the collectible world, but I don't know many people who actually use this stuff. It's just, it has, it has a cool look to it, but it looks brand new. It's never been used, is what's going on there. Twelve fifty on the Continental bus station. That's one I forgot about. I remember. Okay, I remember the trailways, but yeah, I, I forgot about the Continental end of that. 
I think they dropped that later. Continental Trailways. Morris Bryant and Son Aluma Craft Boats. Legend trailer. That's a nice trailer he's got. Sexy, bro. Just wouldn't need a, much of a trailer at all if you those signs they just lay flat. So there's a in there for the restaurant. Your um, little music box. You put your change in at the at the diner. Boulevard Motors Motor Oil Boulevard Motor I didn't check the prices on the auction items this year Did he buy a whole cart of stuff or he's bringing it in? I don't know And then they'll start having food later these guys they, they know how to party they for the two-day thing They got they got that part down pat Yeah, uh, the, the Michelin's uh, 1400 That's uh, kind of the ballpark of what's going on here. Hi. So you'd think the people would be here uh, early in the morning to open a day to, to pick. So he's got that little van just packed full of stuff. He put a lot of stuff in there. He's got the, the, these old old boxes, made in America stuff, made in Cincinnati. Brand new old stock. We're gonna go down to the end of this, and we'll be at the end of this film. And then we'll turn around and walk the other way on the other side. Gas globes. So yeah, these run about 400 bucks a piece, but that one there is three thousand dollars. So you need to know. This one 375. That one's 2800. 1250, 1350, and on from there. Tire stands. And they're at 50 bucks a piece. Get a pretty cool tire, so they make a nice display. So the Victorian furniture was down. I noticed on the Antique Roadshow. That's a very cool looking Kanoko stand up over there. And then um, it's only a 750. Um, so I think this stuff's coming on. Where the Victorian furniture, the value went down drastically, like by half, because of demand and. Uh, there must be a strong demand for this kind of stuff right now. Petro, guy stuff, memorabilia, man cave. Very cool electric bike there. And this guy was here the last time I remember. With a with a load of heavy iron, and that's how he rolls. North Carolina license plate on that little trailer, just and. Um, Sort of comparable, I think. They're the light post and the, and the bases. This one's a V. Very large items there. But this is how this guy does. He doesn't even unload it. He brings them in and sells them. Over at the MSC Suite, uh, in between rainstorms. Uh, Beauregard Rippy over here checking out to check the oil sale. Thanks for watching, everyone.